How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels? Welcome to maybe kind of a Halloween special. Obviously, not Halloween yet. However, I have always liked the idea of dedicating the entire month of October towards Halloween-esque things. You know, like when you watch Disney Channel or Cartoon Network, they don't save all their Halloween episodes for October 31st. It's during the entire month. So, I wanted to use October as an excuse to launch a Soul Eater reaction series. My only connection to this show, um, is a very, very old AMV involving this show and Marilyn Manson's This Is Halloween. That's it. The clips featured in that AMV are the only clips I've seen of Soul Eater. I know people don't like the ending. I know my friends love this show. That's pretty much it. I have no clue what the plot is about. So we're gonna check it out today. As always, with any new reaction series I start, if you want to see me continue reacting to it, make sure you leave a like on the video, make sure you comment, it really helps out the page a ton, and ensures that I'm able to keep reacting to the series you like. If you guys want me to keep reacting to Soul Leader for the rest of October, and for the rest of the series, make sure you let me know in the comments below. If not, I'll figure something out. I'll do some some other alternate Halloween special on the 31st. But now, let's get into Soul Eater. Welcome to Death Weapon Meister Academy. Death Weapon Meister Academy? Those assholes waitlisted me! Yeah, that's right. I applied to Death Weapon Meister Academy. They've got an excellent culinary program. But then I got put on the waitlist for like six months, had to go to Ithaca College instead, and then I never learned how to cook. Now I'm gonna die by age 30 because my diet is mostly Lucky Charms, and it's all DWMA's fault. More commonly known as the DWMA. Oh my god, what is this? What did the scary godmother animators make this series? Why does this castle look like a cake? The demons known as Kishin and their insatiable hunger for destruction. It's ironic that the demons with an insatiable hunger for destruction would have such a delicious name. Also, I'm starting to think I really lucked out by making that culinary school joke earlier. The kids go to school in a giant cake. They fight quiche monsters. I'm starting to think this is an actual cooking anime. I guess it's not exactly a typical school. Oh well, that isn't important. For now, let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. This is death? Why is the Grim Reaper so bouncy? and inflatable. Hey guys, moon's fucked? What happened in the moon? Why is the moon spooky? Is this Earth? Like, is this where the show takes place the entire time? Or is this like the spooky dimension? You know, like in Code Lyoko, where they have the regular world and then they got like the, the digital world? Is this spooky digital world? If our moon looked like that, the world's suicide rates would be unreasonably high. Anytime I'm feeling down, the one comfort I get to have is knowing that our moon doesn't have teeth. If that changed, it would be all over for me. Honestly, that's not even as upsetting as the moon thing. Comparatively, I'm pretty alright with what just happened. I know this show has, like, no connection to Disney or Tim Burton or anything, but this is giving me the strongest Kingdom Hearts vibes. This thing looks like Olaf from Frozen turned into a kinkier Edward Scissorhands. Like if Sora showed up right now, I would be entirely unaffected. That man soul leader, his soul. Yeah, Maka, there's no doubt about it. That dude's soul is a Keishan egg. It's pure evil. I can't tell if this guy's trying to do a Brooklyn accent, or if he's trying to hide one. Sounds like Joey Wheeler's cooler older brother. Yeah, Yugs, no doubt about it. That creeps a soul goblin. Of course, I look a lot cooler in my human form than he does. <laughs> um, not when you do that, you don't. I've seen tons of characters turn their arms into weapons before, but this is the first time I've seen a character turn too much of their arm into a weapon. Usually it stops at the elbow so you can at least swing it around, you know? This is like the worst part of his arm turning into the worst part of a scythe. No. 
Okay, thank God. That makes a lot more sense. I thought he was gonna have to go around like, come on, let's do this, you sick fuck! It's ours now. <laughs> that fight was so cool. The animation was great. Things were exploding into cubes. The music rips. All of that was sick. Great stuff. I also like semi lie. I super didn't lie, but I semi lied in saying that I don't know anything about this show because I can already see the comments now. I don't know anything about this show specifically, but I have seen a good amount of Fire Force. I'm not going to spoil anything for anyone because for some reason, when it comes to these two shows specifically, People think they're super cool spoiling stuff. The people who know, know what I mean. But anyway, the reason I bring up Fire Force, um, is because that show is like the coolest anime I've ever seen. And so I'm expecting a similar caliber of coolness here. The sound design and animation in Fire Force are like absolutely top tier. And yeah, it's a newer show with, I assume, a bigger budget. So I'm not gonna like hold this to that standard. However, that fight kind of reached it. I've just gotta eat the soul of a witch. Then I'll be one of Lord Death's weapons. You're looking at the next Death Scythe. I know, as if I wasn't cool enough already, right? Dude, being somebody else's scythe is so wildly uncool. If you're about to become Death, that would be cool, but not, not his tool. You even think of touching my Maka. If you lay a hand on her as a Death Scythe, no. As her father, I will freaking kill you. You got me, you little octopus head. I don't think this guy understands who's laying hands on who in this relationship. Your daughter's the one running her hands all up and down this kid's shaft. If anything, he's the victim. And additionally, collect the soul of one witch. Then the weapon will obtain the qualifications necessary to become a death scythe, one of my instruments. So, so death is just like in the market for a new scythe. It's weird that death's process for getting a new scythe is this strange, like, pyramid scheme involving teenagers? It's on you. Can you handle us? So cool, baby, stand us. Resonance of the soul. Talking Will Soul Eater so become cool, a death scythe? Can I petition to have all anime title cards be accompanied by a funky as hell beat? That was so sick. That was better than the main theme song of this show. I loved that. But you know, you know, I've got a secret. Yes, I do. Pumpkins, pum, pum, pumpkin, pum, pum, pumpkin. Cause that's my magic spell. Pum, pum, pumpkin, pum, pum, pum. Tom, sensor bar, please. By the way, heads up, keep that sensor bar on tap. If there's one other thing I know about this show and Fire Force, it's that we're gonna be getting our money's worth out of that sensor bar. You know how sometimes an anime's fan service will be handled in a way that's so weird it's not even sexy anymore? The guy who wrote this and Fire Force does that so frequently. Fire Force is the horniest show that has never once succeeded in actually being sexy because of how fucking weird it is. This is the same. First off, her pumpkin song, bad. You want me to get hard for a bitch who can't even carry a tune? <laughs> yeah, good luck. Second, that brush doing cartwheels on her back? Super inefficient way to get clean. So now, not only can this bitch not sing, she also probably reeks. But sneaking into a house isn't very manly. Why don't we just charge right in there? We can't. She's different from the others we face so far. Let's go. Hey, come back here! <laughs> Breaking into her house? Not manly. Breaking into a full-on Naruto sprint? Alpha male shit. I hope that cute boy will be all right. <gasps> Could you transform into a scythe? Working on it, Maka. He's already transformed into the pole. It's the blade he's having trouble with. Could you make do with a spear? <laughs> oh my god, their son sucks too. Their son is arguably even worse than the moon, considering this one makes noise. Don't hate me, Maka! I love you and Mama! I promise, Maka! It's two! It's two! Whose voice is this? Is this Rompo? Is this Bryce Peppenbrook? I know Rompo isn't Bryce. Those were two guesses. I feel like this is somebody from Bungo Stray Dogs. I have such a strong feeling about it. God, I almost had it. Who is it? 
Comment below. I'm not gonna look it up. I'm gonna see if I can come up with it by the end of the episode. Oh my god, wait, is it Edward Elric? Is it original Rompo? I don't think so. I don't think it's Victor whatever his name is. Because he doesn't sound- that guy is incapable of sounding like, oh no, but he does Broly. Or were you just gonna try beating her by getting a nosebleed again? <laughs> Men are completely useless sometimes. Oh, I didn't like that at all. I don't know why, but seeing him get literally bent out of shape made me so uncomfortable. I also didn't know he could talk or move on his own as a scythe. It's really rocking my perception of his power. What should we try now, Soul? My attacks won't work on her. Soul? Soul, hello? Oh, don't go quiet now! I just learned you could talk! She's not doing so well against this witch. It looks like she might die. What? Marco, hold on. Stop right there. Think about what you're doing. God, the scythe powers are so dumb when they're doing anything other than just being a scythe. All you did was spawn three of the most inconveniently shaped blades on three different inconvenient body parts. Like, what's that huge curved blade on your back gonna do other than give you scoliosis? Any man would choose a girl with a body like Blair's over you and your flat chest. She didn't have to trick me to make me pick her instead of you. <laughs> Okay. Ouch. I'm gonna be so shocked if Maki even knows what a self-esteem is by the end of this episode. You said that all women make wild assumptions without reasoning first, right? That's what you said? Well, what reason do men have for cheating? It's not fair! Wow, Super wasn't ready for the direction this show has taken. That's fine. I'm always down to have a mature and nuanced discussion about gender politics. I'm sure that's exactly what I'm about to get out of horny Nightmare Before Christmas. How am I supposed to know? I can't answer that. After all, cool men don't cheat on their partners, do they? Oh shit, that's hype. That's so stupid, but so hype. <laughs> That tag team move was so cool and smart. His PSA about why it's uncool to cheat on women, though, really funny. That's like when they used to have those Sonic the Hedgehog PSAs where Sonic would be like, Hey kids, you know what's cool? Going fast and eating chili dogs. You know what isn't cool, though? Being touched by a stranger. Once you eat that. That's right. With this soul, I'll become a death scythe. Dude, what happened to the fucking moon? This is so beyond just a stylistic choice. The moon is smiling and bleeding. I need an explanation. It's like not enough for me that they're in the underworld. Like, why does the moon look this horny? I'm really just a cat with a ridiculous amount of magical power. Oh my god, this character is about to get so much worse, isn't she? Yes, just as I suspected. The cat'll do. Yes, Blair, I'll be your cat toy any day. Yo, honestly, same. Stop following us, will ya? Come on, soul. You know you want to. The situation isn't cool at all. Oh yeah, nothing cool about a sexy anime witch trying to sleep with you. What a lame situation. What a real, a real classic bogus sitch. Soul feels like he was written by a middle school principal. Cheating on women? Not cool. Riding big motorcycles? Super cool. Being chased by girls? Not cool. Wearing a colorful headband that expresses your interests without offending minority groups? Super cool. The boy's name is Blackstar. He is an assassin shrouded in darkness. Are we introducing a different fucking protagonist 20 minutes into this episode? It's a little late for this, guys. The real protagonists didn't even get an intro like this. We're after Al Capone along with his associates. About a hundred souls in all. A hundred versus me. What I like. Oh my god, okay, first off, that's not his voice. What are we doing, guys? I was so ready to love this character. Why is he being voiced by Salim Bradley? Also, what do you mean your target's a soul-eating Al Capone? Why are all of these demons just, like, running amok? Like, they're already in hell, so what, like, where do they go after this happens, after they get exercised or whatever? You know what I mean? Is it, does this take place in purgatory then? Like, what is this, it's like we're in hell's waiting room, and all the bad guys who are on earth are just running amok. Black Star. 
Those are Kishin souls down there, ones who have strayed out onto the path of evil. Third, why is your scythe naked? Who tricked this woman into thinking she has to become naked to be a weapon? Soul doesn't have to do that. Oh, and fourth, this song kicks ass. It kicks almost as much ass as the content on my Patreon. Yo, you want to see some real premium grade ass? The Patreon's where you gotta be. Not because, like, not my ass isn't on Patreon. It's like, the con- the content kicks ass. I said- so I guess the content's not ass. No, the content's not ass. My ass isn't there either. <sighs> Please, just subscribe to my Patreon. Oh, but Danny, what kind of content's on the Patreon? You promised us ass! I know, I know I said you guys would get ass. <sighs> would you take some Blue Lock and Food Wars reactions instead? Would you take access to my private Discord server? Would you take access to all the recordings of the live streams I've done in the past? and will do in the future. Please, I really don't want to show my ass on the Patreon. Subscribing to the Patreon not only gets you all of that amazing, ass horrific content, but it also helps ensure that I'm able to keep putting out as much content as possible on this channel, my second channel, Honestly Brutal, my podcast. I'm an absolute content fiend lately. I've got Honestly Brutal, my gaming channel, Otaku's Anonymous, my podcast. I've got the Patreon, this channel, so much content out there. If you want to check it out, the links to all of those will be in the description below. Checking out any of those links really helps me out a ton, just gets you a bunch of really cool content that I'm proud of. And like I said, if you want to see more Soul Eater in the future, make sure you like this video, share it around, subscribe if you haven't already. And now, on to the next episode. About a hundred souls in all. Does anybody else, like, really want to try a soul? This show makes eating souls look so scrum diddly umptious. Every time somebody does it, it looks so satisfying. All I'm saying is these guys really know how to animate a mouth. You know what I mean though? It just looks like a, like a big boba. Like it looks like a big ball of boba that everyone just like, help. Assassin's rule number two, transpositional thinking. Analyze the target in order to predict his thoughts and movements. Yo, please stop talking. I love his weapon. A chain scythe is like my favorite weapon on the entire planet. And I even kind of like his design. I keep getting so close to thinking you're sick. And then you open your mouth. Let's go. Oh my god, this kid looks just like Sora. You don't understand assassination, do you? Who are you? Die! Team Who Are You and Team Die really need to get their shit together because they are not on the same page. You shouldn't use such a little joke on a big guy. Of course. Sorry about that. However, because I'm the bigger man here, I won't hold one poor joke against you. Kid, you're like four feet tall and wearing clown shoes. You're wearing shorts that go down to your ankles and a burlap sack for a shirt. Do not call yourself a big guy. <laughs> oh, yes, I can barely stand up. <laughs> Okay, does this kid suck? Like, is that the general consensus about this character? Because I really hope it is. This kid is the worst. And I was already starting to think that about Soul. Yo. Looks like you two screwed up again last night, huh? Oh god, and now they're in the same room together. I'm gonna turn Tsubaki into a death scythe any day now, I'm sure of it. Until then, why don't you take this copy of my autograph? <laughs> Like it? Kid, relax. This kid needs to be sedated or something. He sounds fucking rabid. There's a witch living inside this castle, boss. And after we capture her soul, my family will be the strongest. You know? He keeps saying, you know. Is that like, is that like a play on capiche? Is that what they're doing? Is that the joke? Or is that like a genuine translation error? <laughs> Is this the plot of every episode? A Meister sneaks up on someone, she's naked, and then that fucks them up? Based on the current available data, I have no reason to think that isn't the plot of every episode. Also, this face is so fooly cooly. I like wouldn't be surprised at all to find out that Soul Eater is like heavily inspired by fooly cooly. Because Soul like straight up looks like Aang right now, and Aang is just based off the main kid from Fooly Cooly. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
This day is turning out to be a bit annoying. This guy is sick. I kind of like how under-designed he is. Like, his design is really low-key compared to everybody else's. It's super cool. So then, you're a weapon, Meister. Compared to a man as big as me, you realize how small you are, don't you? When you say big, what what are you talking about? Infinite sword attack. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that's a lot of fucking swords. I thought he was gonna, like, summon swords. I didn't know he just had them on him. Infinite sword attack. Pfft, where are you gonna get infinite swords from? I fucking brought them! <laughs> weapon strength has saved you. If this were a regular chain, it would have broken already. I love infinite sword attack. Him throwing a bunch of swords into the ground to just use no matter where he is, is so cool. I love this guy. If I have to kill a kid, I'll get nightmares. You bastard, you're calling me a kid, are you? You're wrong. The kids I know are small. No stupid kid could be as big a guy as I am. Why do you think you're a big guy? What is this bit you're doing? This is the weirdest character trait I've ever seen. Do you know what would make you a much smaller man, Mufune? If he were you? Yahoo! I got you now! Idiot! Why can't you learn to be quiet? You blew it, Black Star! <sighs> Poor kid. His biggest mistake. Was, uh, was that he sucked. You're an arrogant bastard. You shouldn't use the back of the blade against an opponent who's so much bigger than you are. Yo, let him have it. Lay into him, Mifune. Do you see the way his eyes shot open? Like, oh, this fucking kid. A little bit careless sometimes, but if he really tried, I know he could do it. <sighs> Mifune, it's your move. What now? It's so not his move. His move was knocking you on your ass. A move which proved astoundingly successful. I do love this moment of his, like, weapon kind of belittling him. Like, like, uh, you know, sounding like his mom, kind of, while he's over here trying to be a big guy. Like, that was genuinely a good little moment. I like that. Assassin's rule number one, silence. Dissolve in the darkness and erase your breath. Dude, can I, like, get this anime soundtrack? Like, are all these songs easily accessible and readily available? If I find out that it's a bitch to track down this soundtrack, I'm gonna be so upset because the soundtrack is carrying this show so hard. I don't mean that as harshly as it sounds. It's not, this isn't a bad show. I don't like this kid, though. But, like, fuck, this is some S-tier music. <laughs> this soundtrack goes so hard. Take the target out. We call this one the Shadow Star. What? That was unbelievably cool. I love her. She's super sick. I also like how his weapon is able to turn into, like, multiple things. I don't know if Soul can do that too, and he just only wanted to be a scythe in episode one, but so far, she's way cooler than Soul. Where's the witch? <sighs> Stop it! No! There she is! Kill her! <laughs> no, Angela. He's my guardian! I'm a witch, but I'm still just a little kid, so Mifune is protecting me! Got her! Now's your chance! Black Star, we have the scattered souls of the Al Capone gang and a witch without magical power right in front of us. I don't know that we'll ever have a chance like this again. I like where her head is at. I mean, really. I can't kill a kid. It would give me nightmares. Oh, I like that he took Mifune's line, too. That's super cool. Death the Kid, son of Lord Death, the Grim Reaper. A perfect boy with nearly perfect skill and talent to match. Oh, this is the kid who holds the guns upside down. I've seen this kid before. I love how stupid this gimmick is. What benefit could holding your guns like that possibly give you? You're using your weakest finger to pull the triggers and also you can't aim. But the kid is obsessed with perfection. Just look, Patty! Your stance is off again! The two of you aren't in a line! Oh, I love him. This is the actual best character in the show. I've, I've known him for 20 seconds, and he's already the best one. That was such, like, Spongebob shouting at Gary energy. That was so, like, come on, Gary, it's a race! A race! You ever heard of one? And that was episodes one and two of Soul Eater. I would love to keep watching. 
if you guys would love me to keep watching. I like the colors. Like I said, I love Fire Force. I like the characters, like, in... <laughs> in everything but their personality and their voices. I like what the characters look like. The animation's great. I like the gimmick of, like, you have a weapon meister and a weapon. That's fun and cool and i like that we have like three of them and essentially what seven characters then because this guy has two weapons that's cool like i like the ensemble i like the idea of all of that it's also just like such a strange world i know nothing about like i'm very intrigued to see where this goes it's so out there it's so not like grounded in anything and so that's cool and like i said if you guys want me to keep watching make sure you let me know in the comments below and uh yeah we have now begun our uh spooky little month of october i still have a little surprise waiting for you guys on the 31st uh yeah the video's over bye Play down, let the tires